Hello everyone, WolfieCast here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and drop them right into the game at level 1, tell you exactly what their abilities do. No upgrades, no talents, just as they come. This time we have Wu. Wu is a melee damage dealing hero with the tags Fighter, and he probably should have the tag Assassin as well because generally that's kind of how you end up playing him. It really depends on how you build him, but that's for the deep dive video. Wu's playstyle is all about weaving in and out of fights with crazy mobility, much in the same way as Assassin's, but doing just a huge combo of attacks, like weaving every single ability in a very delicate dance that kind of does a bunch of, you know, it does a bunch of soft crowd control, some, you know, hit reactions, and he's just, he's all over the place, and he's really fun and, and, and difficult. Before we jump to his abilities, as always, let's hit his stats first. Wu has 1700 health and 15 armor, which is around the around the same as Taito. So he's kind of got that uh, assassin playstyle with the health, kind of a healthy mixture of being a fighter and assassin, as his tags would suggest. So we'll start with his LMB, which is called Rain of Blows. It is a melee attack that, that does three hits. The first two do 65 and the third hit does 95 pre mitigation. And very simple, looks just like this. So kind of similar to the other two assassins where they have you know, a string of hits and then the third or quote unquote final hit does more damage. Wu following the same pattern, just with three hits instead of, I think, Taito, what has four and Trip has seven or something like that. But uh, kind of kind of generally the same style of, of LMB. Next up, we have Wu's RMB, which is called Splash Kick. Jump high with an upwards kick that pushes enemies away and deals damage uh, when depending on where you start. Uh, if you're right up next to them, then they're going to get hit. If not, it's just kind of a jump. Uh, while you are flying, you can activate the ability again to do a downward kick to the target area that does damage in a small area where you land. Now, you can ignore this. Uh, you can ignore this 1.4 seconds uh, thing here. So long as you're airborne, the ability will allow you to act uh, to cast again to activate it uh, to do the downpour. Now that in mind, uh, this means that Splash Kick actually does not go on cooldown until you land. So if you go from a really high ledge, you'll, uh, you're not going to land. Uh, or you're not going to have that cooldown back for a while until you finally reach the floor. But normally it is a 9 second cooldown. And it does not matter if you use just one or if you use both activations. Both are a 9 second cooldown that are on the same uh, cooldown timer. So much like a... Much like Charnock, I, I feel like I bring Charnock in every other video. Um, this ability can be used to propel you forward or backwards, not side to side. So if you're if you're it'll default you to forward. So if you're moving forward or just standing still, it'll launch you forward. But if you hold backwards, it'll actually launch you backwards. But it looks like this. So I walk up. I'm going to hold backwards for this sake. It push Nasus away and then it does damage. And then when I land, I that cooldown starts. And uh, again, another another instance of says it interrupts. It doesn't interrupt unless they're standing still. Keep that in mind. But uh, and I'll do it again from this side now, and then I'll activate the second one. So you can kind of just propel that target area, and you can hold the right mouse button to kind of you can hold it down while you're flying to uh, kind of try to gauge exactly where you want to land. You don't have to. It, it doesn't activate right away, is what I'm trying to say. So if you just hold it down, then uh, it'll. It'll wait for you to let go before that input comes in. Another thing as well is uh, this is a this is another instance of one of those uh, upward mobility abilities that is a fixed distance. So you can actually jump first and then RMB and you'll get even higher. So if I jump high and then I can, like I said, I can hold that spot to uh, delay when I actually land so I can see where I'm landing. But generally, it'll try to land you where you're focusing or, uh, where you're targeting rather you can't really land right under your feet it's just kind of there's always at least a little bit of forward uh motion with the down drop but you know do backwards and then land exactly where you started and you can just you can do them in rapid succession you don't have to wait until you're all the way at the peak of your height like you can quite literally just like really quickly chain them together and just to prove that the cooldown does not start until you land, I'm going to jump from the highest point on this map and then down to one of the lowest points. You see the still blue, and then I land, finish that animation, and then it starts the cooldown. So use at your own risk if you're at a super high place going to a low place. 
Now onto the queue, which is called Crashing Waves. Throw a projectile forward, followed by a dash attack. It's just kind of a wave of water that moves forward a slow distance, or, or rather a short distance, and does damage. And then you lunge forward with a, a punching attack that also does damage. The first wave applies an interrupt if they're attacking, and the dash attack will deal extra damage if it if it hits a person who is currently being interrupted. It looks like this. So just in rapid succession, and and both of these both of these uh, instances are on the same ability. It's not one of those you tap twice or or you kind of can delay it. It just is one followed by the other of one followed by the other in rapid succession. You see just kind of the quick sweep kick with the wave and then a punch forward. And this will lunge you forward. So it's a pretty pretty longer than you might expect range. And you just kind of lunge forward. But keep in mind that you're not actually going to do damage with the punch until you make contact. It's one of the few instances actually in the game where you actually need to make direct contact instead of melee range. Because remember, melee range is like melee range is like here. This is this the second instance of your crashing waves will not apply until you make contact with somebody like literally punch them. And Wu's last basic ability is his E, which is called Tongue Lash. Propel your tongue forward, grab an enemy that deals damage and then on impact, uh, like I said, deals damage and then pulls them towards you. Now, pull is a pull is a hit reaction that is unique to Wu, but basically it works exactly like launch. Just it. It lunches forward and then it'll pull them from where they're standing to where you cast the ability. And that's important to note because later I'll show you something uh, with Wu. Um, but they'll be they'll be pulled f to the direction of where you cast and along the path they are considered stunned. So they can't do anything until they reach from where they started to where the uh, pull like ends. And this is a skill shot. There has been a there's been a long debate on whether or not this is a skill shot or if it's uh, if it's a hit scan. It is in fact a, a, a skill shot with a small delay, and it, it is very fast. So sometimes it does feel like it's a it's a hit scan, but it, it is in fact a skill shot. But you throw your thing forward, and then yeah, throw your tongue forward, and then pull them towards you, and then they get briefly interrupted when they uh, kind of break out of it. So this is a. This is a this is an interesting ability, and it's uh it's very fun to use proper uh, when you use it properly. And kind of, you can use it like when you you can use it when you jump. You can use it uh, while you like, you know, move to the side like this, and then just pull them along the way. And like I said, it doesn't pull technically to where you are. It pulls wherever the ability was used. So if you're really highly mobile right now, like if you're in the middle of another ability, or or if you're just kind of like throwing yourself to either side, forward or backwards, um, it's going to pull to wherever the ability was cast, even if you keep moving. So you can use this, like, say, if I right mouse button and then pull, he got pulled up there and then he just drops straight down from where I cast it because that's where I cast it when I was way up there. Finally, Wu's focus, which is called Typhoon's Fury. Dash forward and then launch an uppercut attack that does damage on impact. It launches enemies. It also grants you armor and then a damage buff for four seconds. And on a hit, increases the buff duration. It's not said here, but it increases the buff duration per uh, per hit to by one second to a maximum of 10 seconds. And it's not just your LMBs. It's any attack that does damage. You're going to get that uh, buff duration. And it doesn't, it doesn't reset it to four seconds. It just makes it last to a maximum of 10 seconds. Uh, each focus point increases the initial damage, starting at 400, 500, then 600 at rank 3. Also increases the armor and damage boost uh, provided. So armor buff starts at 20, then 30, and then 40 flat armor at rank 3. And then the damage buff is 30%, 45%, and 60% uh, at rank 3. So this Typhoon's Fury is actually the strongest, just fun fact for all of you, strong, uh, Typhoon's Fury is the strongest damage buff in the game. It's, it is the strongest uh, damage steroid across the entire roster, even at just rank one. 30% uh, is a big damage boost. And considering that it's not just your LMB, it's all damage that you do is increased by 30%. So this is this is actually a huge deal. Um, but the initial attack, so if you if you hold it, kind of lunge forward, very, very similar to the um, swoop attack from Taito, his right mouse button, kind of the same distance, but you just... Instantly launch forward. First person that you make contact with gets launched, takes a bunch of damage, and you kind of get this interesting particle effect around you. And I'll I'll build his focus again and show you like you can increase the duration. You know, I'm gonna use it again. 
And then I'm going to keep attacking and using abilities. And you can see that particle effect, the damage boost, the armor buff, lasting for way longer. Because I'm just I'm just doing damage. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be against the person you hit. It can just be doing damage will increase the duration of Typhoon's Fury uh, damage and armor boost. It's an often overlooked function of the focus. Like, a lot of people look at it as just, like, a big punch that launches and does a, a big uh, burst of damage. Because 400 is a lot. But, like, this this is crazy, honestly. This this is, like, this is a really big thing. And the fact that he gains focus so fast, you can really use this as often as you want. Just at rank 1, it's, it's perfectly good. That is everything about the basic overview of Wu. He's a very interesting character that just kind of combos everything together. Kind of has that, you know, like I said, the assassin play style of just wanting to go in and super quickly use all of your abilities in like this rapid chain succession, weaving your LMBs in between every now and then just for some filler damage and then doing doing just big bursts and then getting out of the fight because you don't have a lot of health or armor. You don't want to stay in fights for very long. You just kind of want to do what you can. Uh, but the big pivotal thing about Wu is definitely his tongue lash. No one else has an ability like this in the game, so it's it's very integral to uh, his just full combo, and uh, he's a lot of fun. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and you know subscribe to the channel, leave comments, all that stuff, because this is a you know this is this is a two way street. I love to talk to you guys, uh, but thank you for watching again, and have a good day. I will see you in the next one.